very nearly Q3. Happy with your day's work? Um, well, it's for, more, for my side, it's like apologies to the team that I, I think, um, yeah, I think I distract, distract the um, PS lab actually. Um, I mean, that situation I create for sure and um, I feel completely weird. The first set of new tyres, just completely different tyres to me and second set suddenly I pick up the grip. Um, and yeah, but anyway, um, apology for the team. I think um, there was potential to go through Q3 for sure today. Um, I think I damaged my car on early stages and yeah, I mean, uh, I can't find anywhere, any words that I can say more about it. I just apologize for the team. Uh, did you did you feel damage yet after you after you hit the wall? Was there was there something sort of well, with quite, the car in Q2? Well, there was uh, quite a big impact, um, and uh, the balance I felt was not great. Um, so we had to of course, obviously um, see more details, but um, it was it was quite big impact, and um, yeah. How was it out there? Yeah, I mean, despite it obviously being not the result I want, I mean, it's still you know, one of the more enjoyable qualifying sessions of the year in that regard. So that was quite uh, quite intense. I think um, the big thing for us is, you know, we, we found some things on the car from FP2 and FP3 that were not as they should have been and really hampering the car balance quite a lot with what I was struggling. So we think we understood what was not quite right and we did make some good steps into fixing that. So the qualifying is where the car felt the best, but it also was a completely different car to anything I had in FP1, FP2 and FP3. So, you know, the track where you want to just build and the driver has to make the difference just being comfortable and consistent with the car I felt everything in free practice was useless for me so went into qualifying um, and straight away from lap one I said oh okay this is a brand new car but again obviously when it's the session where you want to be the most on the limit and you're still discovering now what that limit is with this new handling car it's it's tricky so I think you know, I clearly need to do a better job I think there's some things about you know, with, with the car that we need to understand what's what's caused this because at this track it's made my life 10 times harder than it, than it should have been really. Um, and I feel there was much more in there, uh, especially with that last lap, not getting the tire preparation right. So yeah, it's disappointing, but uh, that's Monaco.